Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So wild day for the market, guys. As you can see, just as what we were saying, that we will have a nice little spike with the overall market before the feds come out and do their speech on tomorrow, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, see what's going on. So AMC in the day at nine dollars and sixty cents. Pretty much a consolidation of another day. AMC still, you know, lagging behind. Still has, you know, dried up on momentum. The volume is doing okay. But like I told you guys, you know, we've been losing followers. It's no secret by now. But I got to keep it real with you guys more than anything. And all these other guys y'all steady following is not going to be real like that. Because, you know, it's just not. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at what's going on. We went crazy today in VIP. Whoever sold out, they made 40% on the day, guys. I'm still holding mines. I will let mines go on tomorrow. And I will rinse and repeat for the ones that's in VIP wondering when I'm going to sell my contract. So if it holds up tomorrow, we get another little pop. I'm definitely trying to exit it first thing in the morning and possibly rebuy on the dip. Because what I believe is going to happen is what's happening now. I told you guys it was going to market was going to run up. It's been lagging behind the beginning of the week. We had a lot of stuff that happened. And now it's starting to pick up on the last day prior to the report being reported. With that being said, guys, on tomorrow, expectations is going to be like this. Being for the fact that it already ran up, soon as the feds come out with their speech, the market should tank. It'll come back down, get those gains back. That's why they ran it up today, to have that leverage to be able to bring it down. Because we know on last Friday in the beginning of this week, if the market would have continued to back the path that was going down, red, bloody, 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 by the time the feds came out and spoke, it wouldn't have made sense. The market would have went up. Even though if they came out with bad news in a negative way to make it go down further, it still would have went up. Being for the fact that it was hit so hard and the market just can't go down to zero, and stop working. It's got to continue to operate. So what I'm telling you is, you know, they it be artificial spikes. They just do that just so they have leverage to make the market come down on tomorrow, guys. So make it make sense. If it don't now, it eventually soon will. And as soon as that they come back, right, guys, on tomorrow as it pull back, so they can make it seem as if they in control, which they are. But sometimes when they lose control, like they're doing, when the market already being hit hard, they have to regain control by letting the market go up some, so then they can bring it back down right so with that being said going into tomorrow we will see the market pull back prior to them or as they making their speech as soon as it's over everything settled we'll see the markets take right back off that's exactly what's going to happen guys so as you know today tilray like we i'm still up over 15 percent guys we was up over 39 40 percent some people went ahead and took profits which is always a good thing guys i just know you know tilray when it takes off for real, for real, it's going to take off like a bet out of hell. We're talking 30, 40, 50 percent in a single day, possibly even more. So if we go ahead and take a look at this, guys, we know the stock market gained, the whole overall stock market gained ahead of Powell's Jackson Hole speech. So stocks rose Thursday as central bankers from across the globe convened from U.S. Federal Reserve's highly anticipated Jackson Hole Economic uh, Symposium. The S&P 500 jumped 1.4% after the index snapped a three-day losing streak in the previous session, and the tech NASDAQ composite rallied 1.7%. The Dow Jones added 320 points, or about 1%. So we know on Thursday, the stock market did close higher of head of Powell speech, guys. So going into tomorrow, like I told you guys, what expectations is going to be like, and you was prepared for how the overall market is going to you know, maneuver. You already know what to do. Get in VIP. Add your boy on Instagram. Give me a phone call. You know, reach out to me in the inbox. Do 10, 15 minute phone calls, 30 minute phone calls, guys. I love you. We out and God bless you. We go.